Jeff with Kudzu Craft. Why am I standing on the roof of a Jeep, you ask? Well, that's a good question. And no, it has absolutely nothing to do with kayaks. But stick around and I'll explain. Brought to you by Kudzu Craft Skin Boats. Kudzu Craft specializes in the fuselage frame style of skin boat and offers full-size plans, frame kits, uncoated polyester fabrics, footrests, backbands, artificial sinew, and more. We also offer boat building classes where we can build the boat for you. For more information, visit our website at kudzucraft.com. So what am I up to? Well, if you're here for kayaks, I can tell you right now, this is probably not going to interest you. Most of you know me as a kayak builder and designer and selling plans and supplies, but I'm also a very passionate photographer. And I've wanted a roof platform for a long time, and today we're going to talk about that. All right, I'm going to talk about the construction and how I built this. I'll start by talking about the cost. Let's say I think I've got $225, round numbers in it. The biggest single part went into these uh, gutter mounts. I looked for a while on the internet. I looked for quite a while, and I just couldn't find anything I liked, high quality. I looked at a lot of different options, and I kept coming back to these. These are Smitty built gutter mounts. They're very pricey. They were $150 for the six of those, and I had a hard time paying that, but after I get them in and start putting them together, they're extremely high quality. I am very impressed with these. I'm glad I spent the money and I think they were the better options. Next, we've got the plywood base, but you've got to have some support across that. So I'm using what they call Unistrut. Uh, you can look it on Google. Uh, you can Google it and see what it looks like, but it's kind of a U-shaped channel. Uh, it's used in industry. They hang conduit and any kind of piping that runs around the factory, they'll hang these off the, the beams and then attach the conduit to these. Go with the square one. I went with the rectangular one and it flexes just a little bit. Now, I haven't got the center bolt in here yet. That's going to literally right in the dead center of this, which will stiffen it up a little bit. But I think the square one was better. I wanted the extra, uh, the lower height here, the lower profile. And I think it would have been worth going with the bigger one. So if I recommend if you're going to do that, uh, especially if you've got a bigger vehicle than this wider span, go with the square one. Okay, now the woodworking part. This is half inch Baltic birch. This is what I use in my shop. Very weather resistant. We build it in the um, use it in the kayaks all the time. Found that you know I can lay a piece out in the weather for months and there's no delamination or anything like that. But also to help protect it, I put some tow rails on here. And you can't see it, but there's a rabbit cut in there so that when I glue this up, it's glued down this edge and then it's glued down this edge. It gives me a larger glue surface, but it also covers this edge, which is most susceptible to damage uh, and water penetration, and covers that up so it does kind of a twofold. The big purpose for this is, is, of course, the strength that adds a lot of rigidity to it, but it's a safety factor. You're standing up here, you can slide your foot over if you're looking through the camera and find that edge, you know, know exactly where you're standing instead of stepping on the edge and possibly slipping and sliding off. So I definitely wanted that, and then, of course, it turned out I had to have it for strength. Oh, uh, what else? Stainless steel hardware in here. I've got two bolts on this side going into the mount. As I say, I'm going to add one in the center. This doesn't... You can probably hear it. It rattled just a little. I forgot to drill those when I was working on it, but I'll go back and add those now. All right, let's talk about the air dam. The purpose of this is to keep noise down. Uh, without it, air gets up under here. It whistles through these, through the bar, quite noisy. I drove it around the neighborhood some and saw real quick that I definitely wanted an air dam. I had that planned in all along. And what I did, again, another piece of half-inch plywood. You can see the stainless steel screws. I'm not too worried about the looks. Uh, just screwed in. I've got a big piece of mahogany here cut at an angle like that. Again, glued and screwed in place. I ran this air dam all the way down to this. I wanted to keep the factory racks. I think I'm getting a little noise off this, but I wanted to keep them because I may want to take this off and haul something on top of it, a kayak or something like that. Uh, but this makes a big difference. You still get a little wind noise, I assume, from wind coming along and catching in these, but it's not that bad and it's definitely a lot better with the air dam. So if you build one, keep that in mind. Let's talk about the hardest part of this project. That was the ladder, how to get up on here. I looked at a lot of options. My best idea was finding an old aluminum uh, extension ladder, taking the upper half and, and uh, cutting it down and putting some brackets to hold it up here. And then I had a moment of inspiration. Decided I could build my own, not have to buy anything because I couldn't find one. So here's what I ended up with. This is some two by four pine that I trimmed down, uh, running through the planer and joiner, squared them up, got them thinner because it didn't need them that thick. 
These are closet dowel rods. I had all this stuff in the shop. I've used some Baltic birch scraps. Again, these are slots to hang over the edge there. And then more scrap. I made me a little brace here. And how this fits is it'll hook right over the edge. And what you can't see is this edge is fitting flush on the bottom here, not on this rail. So most of the force is pushing down on that, not trying to break that rail over. And that's something you got to think about. Hooks over the edge. Uh, it clears my, I think it's locked, it clears my door. This pad is it got a little carpet on it, sets up against there, and climb up, no problem. Let's say again, this would just be a few dollars to make, but I had all the scrap there in the shop. But I spent a lot of hours thinking about how to do this. And there you go, ready for some photography. I figured it's only appropriate the parting shot be taken up here on top of the platform with a ca camera so you can get kind of an idea of the scale. Um, if you're a photographer, you understand the advantages of this. Pretty simple to build, and I think for the money, it's going to be well worth it. Thank you for tuning in.